Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you the settings to use with Sony Vegas Movie Studio when you're producing videos that you're going to display on the web or for YouTube. Now, you probably want to use these settings for all the videos that you do because they're going to give you the best results with the smallest video file. Let me show you what I mean. When you start Sony Vegas Movie Studio, the first thing you want to do is go to Project and then come down to Properties and enter your project properties. And it's important to do this before you start your project because Sunday Vegas Movie Studio uses the project properties when it decides on screen size and graphic placements and other things that are important to your project results. So the project properties to use for the web in most cases is going to be HDV 720-30p. That gives you a 1280 by 720 widescreen high resolution video. And the uh, field order is none. The pixel aspect ratio is square. The frame rate is 29.97. 3D mode is off. Full resolution rendering quality by default is going to be set to good, but if you want to, you can set it to best. De interlace mode for web viewing and for computer viewing should be blend fields. And then if you're using media that has different aspect ratios, you may want to adjust the source media to better match project or render settings. And what I do is I start all my projects with these settings and then click apply. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and edit the project the way that you want. And in your screen down here, you'll notice it'll have the aspect ratio of your project properties. Your graphics will show up in the right place. Everything will look good. And by the way, if you're looking at your preview window down here and the quality is not the way you want, that's going to be because the default is preview auto, which is lower resolution. And if you want to see the high resolution, just choose preview best and auto, and that'll give you a higher resolution. Anyway, after you do all your editing, before you upload to YouTube, what you want to do is click Project, Render As, and on the render screen, choose the output file. And in my case, I'm going to always put the output file the same place that I put the projects. And then choose the output format. So if you've set your project properties, all you have to do is put a check mark where it says Match Project Settings. And for the web, choose Main Concept AVC, AAC, which is MP4, and then choose Internet HD 720p. Now you notice that I have a choice here. This is Internet HD 720p CUDA. That's because I have a CUDA enabled video card and I've created a preset for that. But in your case, just use the Internet HD 720p and click Render. The render process speed will depend on your computer processing power, the amount of RAM, and the amount of hard drive space. When it's done, you can go in and look at the video that you've created. In my case, here's the video that we've just created. There's the file itself. I can see that it's 224 megabytes which is quite a large file to be uploading to YouTube. And if this video had been longer, the file size could be much, much larger. Fortunately, there's an easy solution to that. And that's by using the free Handbrake program. I'm going to start that up for you. This is what Handbrake looks like. When I start Handbrake, first thing I want to do is click Source File. I'm going to open a file. And the file I'm going to open is the one that I've just rendered. I click Open. Under Presets, I'm going to choose Normal. I'm going to put a check mark in Web Optimize. And if I want to, I can check the audio and video settings. When I'm happy with those, what I can do is click Start. And it'll convert that file into a compressed video. Okay, Handbrake is finished compressing the file. And when we go look at the file size, we can look here. And here's the file that we started with, which is uh, the MP4 file. And it's 224 megabytes, which is a large file. After we ran it through Handbrake, it's only 59 megabytes, which means it's less than 20% of the size of the original file. That file will look great when we upload it to YouTube. So those are the settings you want to use when you use Sony Vegas Movie Studio to create video for web or for YouTube. You start by clicking Project. You come down to Properties. You set it to HDV 720-30p. And from that point on, you're pretty much set. Now, you can use the Make Movie option, but I find that using the Project Render As gives you more control. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.